Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back here with another video. So uh, Pierre Polyev just posted something interesting today. It looks like it was from a rally from a little while ago. And it says here, uh, Trudeau divides to control. I will unite Canadians for freedom. And there's a video here that I'm going to play for you guys. Um, but before I do, I just want to remind you guys to please uh, like and subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps us grow this thing. And I do appreciate every single one of you who does. And so if you do want to stay uh, updated on recent political uh, updates and activities, then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time I post a video. You can just click on the notification and enjoy the content instead of searching for it on YouTube. So let's have a look at this video, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. Sorry about that. Government and small citizens. Inflation is attack on your freedom. It concentrates wealth and power in fewer hands. It means big government and small citizens, and that is exactly what has been the design of our prime minister. He said he admires the basic Chinese communist dictatorship. Inflation is attack on your. Sorry for that. I just wanted to say that that uh, that whole thing where he said about admiring the Chinese basic dictatorship—that's actually real. Chinese communist dictatorship. He said he admired the leadership of Fidel Castro. He, he said that he wants to he wanted to seize the bank accounts of law-abiding people for protesting him. He's tried to censor the internet. My friends, common sense conservatives are pushing back. I am running for prime minister to put you back in charge of your life by making Canada the freest country on earth. Yeah, so it was just a really short video, but he made a lot of good points. Now, what Justin Trudeau has been doing, does that sound more like a free capitalist country or does it sound like he wants to be a communist and a communist dictator at that? You don't freeze bank accounts for people who are protesting you. You don't say things like, hey, how long do we tolerate these people for questioning or not wanting to get a certain medication? You don't have just massive government who does nothing, who are way overpaid, who spend way too much money, and it hurts every single one of us. The national debt is insane. There's not enough houses. He's letting in all kinds of just mass immigration into this country. Is that what a, a prime minister would do? to a country if you want that country to be free? No, if you want the country to be free, if you want the citizens to be free, the answer is actually smaller government. Some people would even say no government at all. I'm not sure about that one, but small government over big government, absolutely. There's no need for any of these things that, that Trudeau did, um, especially during the pandemic. He, he showed that this guy just has, I mean, ev invoking the Emergencies Act. I mean, that's, that's insane. It's never been done before in a situation like that. For, for a protest? Well, they were blocking off roads. BLM blocked off roads here in Hamilton, too. to play. To, to, uh, I think they spray-painted Fuck the Police on King Street, a major street in Hamilton. Ambulances, fire trucks, cop cars. People couldn't get through. They got taken away, were not arrested. They were just booked and then let go. But if you do it on the other side, they freeze your bank accounts, and they say, how longer can we tolerate or accept these kinds of people? Which, from a liberal standpoint, when you use the word the or the term these people, isn't that racist? Kind of weird, isn't it? How Trudeau likes to, or the liberal ideology of what's racist, all of a sudden they use that same terminology. So like, when it comes to conservatives, they're just so evil and the liberals are so good. Yeah, that's not the case. We are not a free country. We need to be. We should be. We should be one of the best countries. There's a lot of people right now who are ashamed to be Canadian. They're ashamed of what's happened with this country. And yes, we should be the freest or one of the freest countries. No censorship, no forced terminology or languages that you have to use to address certain people. Nothing like that. So small government, get these liberals out of here as fast as we possibly can because they they even want to bring forward bill c63 which is like online censorship it's an online censorship bill 
no, it just protects against hate speech. It's like, yeah, well, hate speech to a liberal is just speech that they hate, which isn't hate speech, but they'll just determine what is hate speech. They'll just make up new definitions to silence anyone who criticizes them. That's not what happens in a free country. So Pierre Polyev is going to bring back some common sense. And he's going to bring back freedom in this country, I hope. Because if not, I don't think there's any other politician in Canada, at least right now, who's going to, especially not Maxim Bernier or Jugmeet Singh or Elizabeth May. It's Pierre Paul Yever. We're fucked. So hopefully when he gets in, he does a really, really good job because, like I said, I don't know what we're going to do if not. He's going to have to keep some of his promises or else he'll be out in four years. And like I've said before, a politician's primary job is to get elected again. Well, in order to do that, you have to appease your voters. So if he starts to censor Canadians or if he, we find out he's working for the WEF again, which he said he was... He he said that he had dropped out from that organization and would not go back and neither would any of his cabinet members. Great. Axe the tax. If he doesn't do these things, if he doesn't build more homes and control immigration, he'll be out the next election. So that's why I trust in him more than anyone else. That doesn't mean I fully trust him. He's still a politician. I completely understand. But he's the best option by far. So hopefully Pierre Polyev will keep his promises and make Canada an actual free country, just like we used to be. And then Canadians like me can feel proud again. But let me know what you guys think in the, in the comment section. Do you think that Pierre Polyev is the best option? Do you think there's someone else? Uh, do you think that we're just screwed no matter what? Let me know what you think. And again, please don't uh, forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps grow this channel. And thanks again so much for watching, guys. And I'll be back shortly with a new video.